Early in the year, one of the main uh, pests that we might find on soybeans is the bean leaf beetle. As you can see here, there's quite a lot of damage to the unifoliate leaves. Uh, the first trifoliate is just starting to unfold. There's a little bit of uh, scarring on the cotyledons as well. Now this looks kind of um, imposing, looks a lot worse than it is in terms of damage. But it's important to remember a couple of things. First of all, these bean leaf beetles are dying. Uh, regardless of whether pesticides are applied, they're dying just of old age. Their purpose is to do a little bit of feeding, lay eggs under the soil that will uh, emerge shortly and, and begin feeding on roots. So any applications of pesticide that are put on now will just accelerate the time of death. It won't do a lot to protect the crop. The second thing to remember is that these soybeans are extremely durable and are extremely resilient at this time of year. They have adequate moisture, they have perfectly ideal growing conditions as, as I'm standing here right now and will grow right through this damage. Uh, once that first trifoliate unfolds they'll be getting that much more uh, uh, energy from the sun and they'll just take off after that. So now there are occasions when you would be concerned about bean leaf beetle feeding and that would be when the soybeans are, are uh, just emerging from the ground, so you know, about a week and a half, two weeks earlier than where we are standing here now, and you get a lot of feeding on that growing point, that hypocotyl just as it's unfolding, or the cotyledons, which are the only energy source early on. So at that time, the soybean is not um, producing energy from photosynthesis from the sun, it's just pulling energy out of these cotyledons here. And you can see, again, this damage can look imposing, it looks like something to be worried about, but it rarely is.